Hi friends, this video, the topic I am recording uh, like workplace harassment. Uh, one of the subscribers, uh, he said he is following me for quite a long time. So whatever the email he wrote, the same thing I am keeping as a video title. That is uh, workplace harassment need help. Okay. The story is like um, it's an, he is working at an insurance client and uh, um, for for the safety and security purpose, I am not revealing uh, the sender and receiver details, much of the details, okay. So, he is a Telugu speaking person and uh, I think all of them are on a non-immigrant visas and uh, his co-worker or maybe from the other team is from the Karnataka state. Like uh, Americans who are watching this video, like you have 50 states in US, like we have 30 states in India. So each state speaks a different dialect, though some states have a common language, but still people hate because you are from the neighboring state. So Karnataka state guy speaks Kannada language, not Kannada, Kannada. And uh, Telugu, Kalangana and Andhra states, they speak Telugu language. So last four years, every day, this Karnataka state guy comes to his desk and then smile, um, not, not a wishing smile, like it's like a sarcastic smile along with his Telugu colleague and then just vanishes, point one. So last four years and at parking and uh, wherever, it's, it's like an intimacy. Right? Whatever I, he told when I typed, I am not an attorney, I am not an investigative journalist, right? Point one. Point two is his boss, that uh, whoever is doing, is a victim subscriber and accused boss is also Telugu speaking. That guy also uh, do this kind of teasing, okay, at work. This, so what is that he can do? That's what uh, he wrote to me and uh, just a minute, let me see, I, because I asked a couple of questions and he has replied and uh, yeah, can you please give some details uh, by changing the names because I don't want to repeat and uh, yes, I am victim, uh, is changing the name, his name is Prashant, the person uh, victim, you, yeah, as yes, you can tell, uh, accused is from the Karnataka state and uh, the uh, is a Karnataka state guy, yeah, but can give an example, you can tell that fellow name is Sudhir, okay. His name, victim is Prashan, the accused manager's name is Sudhir, Telugu guy, and client is insurance, okay. Don't reveal location and state and city is what he requested. So what is that he can do? So for his purpose, I wear uh, this shirt. So, like I said, right, 2016 and 17, I recorded, then he said, sir, when I keep the phone, you said in one of the videos, I keep the phone and uh, the phone is going down, right? But you said you have recorded uh, uh, videos, whatever. So, like I said, what I'm looking is <coughs> just some tissue paper. So, you, I keep like this. And the phone comes up, right? That's what I do. All I said, based on the client policy, like for me, it's a confronting attitude, visible attitude. I take all risks, recorded and gave it to a BA in the past because, as you know, America means dollars, green card, US passport. That Chaudhary cash hiring manager asks 25 dollars. Every day morning, this is the same in that bank. Kumar, where is my? $25, billing is $75. Hmm? Because that fuck, motherfucker inserted two more illegal layers are also Chaudhary cast. I am not against Chaudhary's, in spite of I am victimized by Chaudhary's. So then I get to a bit. So this is what you need to do, brother. In case you want to record them for your evidence to give it to any criminal attorney and uh, the government, you have to do this. Right, and uh, keep it. Make sure your client laptop or desktop should not be uh, come into the picture. Okay, this is what you need to do. So it will record, right? 
and uh, then give it to HR manager. But after I talked to him, my entire analysis is shut mouth because you, 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 or any Indian desperately f flee or fled India for dollars for years. One guy wrote, don't show Canadian dollars, it looks silly, but oh, what, what the heck, man. So, Canada means Canada dollars, PR, Canadian passport, and then life doesn't end. For $20 difference between these two dollars to Indian conversion, we come to America for TNVs or green card. So, why do you go to work to dollars, right? To end dollars. Provision, carry, carrier, whatever, there is all secondary, but ultimately you need money. So you go to work, then uh, take whatever the little and then spend with family. If you don't have family, then make a good habits, music, learning music or go to gym like Americans after work, they go to gym. I don't know how many Indians go and then buy a camera, make photographs and videographs. But in case if you record uh, this video, then uh, give it to HR there. But what does HR do? Because you are all non-immigrant visas. No, I, mean, I don't know whether you are all contractors or uh, full-time employees there. If full-time employee is there, then the, she will call her he, HR, call uh, to the conference room and then uh, discuss the issue. If all are non-immigrants, cheap labor, Indian workers, she will sim see or he. General HR means we think that she, right? Gender. She simply said, fuck off. She doesn't, HR doesn't use that F-U-C-K word at work. That's another crime, right? Maybe another bad thing they should not use by policy. Simply, but in private, I'm just making a video for public awareness. I'm just telling, she will say simply, fuck off. You cheap Indian, get out, fuck off. Then you guys have to shut the mouth and come. Everybody lose a job in those scenarios. So that's what... Uh, Indians are uh, doing here. So that you got to be careful. Meet an attorney with all evidence because they will ask, right? Two, if you want a criminal attorney, I will introduce one record, take evidence, give it to HR and face the challenge. Somebody, please write the comment, subscribe, like, write the comment um, advising that guy. If you face this kind of scenario, how to handle it? So, in Telugu video, I can elaborate more, right? And comment what to do, how to do. It's a sensitive matter. He lose, uh, the victim may lose his job, right? If something goes wrong, HR may fire and uh, your boss may be get rid of you. And um, nothing we can do about it. In, though people think that laws are uh, very strict, immigration laws, but Indians abuse to, to the core. So the next point, record and give it to the criminal attorney and all. But ultimately what happens, he will not be fired from the jobs immediately, right? So, the, so they will also defend, uh, you are wrong, something like that. So you need to establish all that. I did an hiring manager at my desk asking, then I took him to conference room and I banged him, my, my maestri, ex-employer, at that time paid uh, this much money, give me money back, I will go. What is this fucking nonsense every day? Something like that. You sh do you have that kind of guts? Can you do that? Can you risk that? Yeah. So think of it. Okay. But uh, shut mouth and work. Because why do we need to go to work? For dollars. Next is green card. Next is US passport. Do you have that? Green card, do you have a US passport? If somebody, if you lose a job, can you go and get a job by evening? Then, uh, do you have any uh, responsibilities? No responsibilities? Uh, anything happen? Can you survive in a six months, one year without job? So, these things, parameters, you think, if you ask me any advice. So, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, those who are facing this kind of a situation, please write comments and let him, uh, we'll give him advice. Thank you.